20 of them inside the, the stadium. Here come the Phoenix. Brocky now comes inside, almost threaded it through to Hernandez. Goal kick. Been impressively calm inside that technical area, Kevin Muscat this evening. Thompson has sprung the trap. Goes early. There were three or four yellow shirts in the way. One of them was Andrew Durante. Now you see in the first half, they would have had two or three bodies in there. Victory of uh, average 33,448. This season. It's a bit below average, but still a good attendance. Here's Bertos for Wellington. Away by Contreras. Oh, and there's another coming together. Play on, says Peter O'Leary. No harm done. Hicks on off the ball. Carl and Leah were going at it. Still with the game. And it's squared across. And Brocky can't get there. That was a great. And we will find him here. Brocky keeps this in play. A little dink now for Bertos. Leo Bertos. Experience from Bertos just holding play up, waiting for support. Hicks scuffed the shot, turned into something more of a cross. Tight in that midfield. And well read by Ben Sigmund. Impressive little spell there, though, for Newcastle. Leo Bertos operating in this right fullback position. Still no Louis Fenton. Louis Fenton is a bit of a project for Ernie Merrick. Last year it was Leo Bertos, an attacking midfielder, converted to fullback by Ricky Herbert. Yes, Hernandez. Early stages though Fred, very impressed with the number seven, Andrew Hall. Understand a, a local product for the Phoenix players on who to pick up. Ruben Zankovic off the crossbar and then driven straight at Glenn Moss and off the line. Drama at McLean Park and the Phoenix survive. Quite how, I don't know. And that's exactly the issue, isn't it, Andrew? Just tag it in the area. Playing one up front. Really need when they break that quickly. Berlante's the guy that has to get forward. Or well, someone else has to bust the gut to get out of that midfield and support the striker. This afternoon already. But you need someone to take the responsibility to put the ball in the net. And at the moment, they haven't got that person. Well, they might not be far away. They look really impressive. Burns. Well, we've seen goals already this round from tighter angles than that, but Glenn Moss was happy. <laughs> and there's Galloway staying forward. <laughs> Yellow fever. Look Again, Burns on Bertos. And again, Burns does well. Bertos recovers. Still not his. Bridges this time holding the ball up, looking for support. Far post, and it had to be dealt with by Leo Bertos. And referee's seen something in back play here. Immediately with the card out. And heading back to the road. Result stays like this. Newcastle will certainly be the happier of the two teams. Well, it might not because Brown will get this. And Bertos puts it out a corner. So it's the visiting team pressing in the dying stages. 60 seconds plus stoppage time. Cunningham 
Riera, he's been busy in the second half, Albert Riera, Hernandez, room for Bertos, two at the far post, Bertos drives it across. We get another chance for Leo Bertos, Hernandez, back to goal and heading towards the corner. Western Sydney, they come from New Zealand, sometimes we really do have to take stock, don't we? As the ball comes in, Sandy for the Wanderers, Mark Bridge clean up the line. Leo Bertos who had decided he was better served looking for greener pastures he's up against Hersey this afternoon it's going to be a huge test with Bertos Brocky with some room to move shown the line by Poliak he got the final touch that's terrific coverage from Poliak can the Phoenix keep some meaningful possession to relieve this pressure? It's Hernandez, that's a Bertos. Hernandez, the Phoenix need a lot more of him on the ball. Clever disguise pass from Carlos Hernandez. And look at Brocky in space. And that's poor from Jeremy Brocky. He had two options in the middle, Cunningham and Heisegems. And he... Here's Hicks. Hernandez, Brocky, Bertos, bends in, a clever ball, Leo Bertos. Just a bit more will perhaps from Hicks, and he might have got on the end of that. Oh. La Rocca, Ono, real in the pass. Bertos doesn't have uh, any options in front of him. Forced to go back to Sigmund. He lumps it up the park. Underneath it is Cunningham. The puts up. The puts up. I just dropped back a couple of years. The one he set up for the puts up to get himself some headlines. He did manage eight shots last season in total. Adam de Puzzo. Leo. Cunningham. They really addressed the ball properly there, Kenny Cunningham. Did you have to say halves after conceding the goal? Now La Rocca. Bridge, nice push it to bring the ball down. Mark Bridge, he's a pretty good battle with Leo Bernos. He's probably managed to get equal points against Hicks. Leo. Just getting back to that point about Sporanovic. Uh, a lot of uh, suggestions, I guess, made. Uh, Partly by Tony Popovich that, that Matthew Sparanovic might get his opportunity, but he's not in the match. Look how quick the transition is of Wellington as well. Bertos. Heads towards the byline, showing the line by Deputso. Corner Wellington. Well, unfortunately for the Phoenix, that. Are you happy with. Work rate of his uh, midfield at the moment, Ernie Merrick. Brocky. Let's get the cross in. Easy claim for Ante Kovic. What a difference. Floated in by Musket. Barely hear yourself think here at the moment. This is Bertos across the face. And there's Brocky. 1-1. One, one. And Jeremy Brocky draws level with Daniel McBreen on 15 goals for the season and the race for the golden boot is well and truly on the league leader stunt cries of Leo go up from the yellow fever over the edge of the six yard box and who else but Ben Sigmund arrives to power that one home 
opportunities. Free kicks just outside the box for the Phoenix. Bertos drives it in. It's, uh, oh, it's a great goal. It's a great goal for Leo Bertos. And I think he's embarrassed. Yeah, I think Leo Bertos. Bertos alerts. Leo Bertos beating one, beating two. Leo Bertos. Leo Bertos. Greenacre! Greenacre, the birthday boy. 34 years of age. He makes it three for the Wellington Phoenix. They're on fire. Two losses in a row and now falling behind. Pressure starts to go on Brisbane, doesn't it? Is it a slump yet, Fred? <laughs> I was talking to Ange Postacogli who said, if this is a crisis, <laughs> I'm pretty happy. Heffernan, down the line, a weak pass. And now Bertos trying to use his pace. Had three Perth defenders to deal with. Play. Look at the space down the left-hand side. Instead, they come to Greenacre again. Bertos gave him a shout. Now Brown the target. Greenacre! What about that for a goal from the Phoenix? It's 1-1. Breaks invitingly for Daniel. Who waits for Bertos. He's hardly had a touch in recent times. And number seven. Delivery not bad. And away by Howarth. 